हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर बेसिकली लास्ट लेक्चर वी सॉ बायोपेटेट ग्राफ यूजिंग बी एफ एस नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी बायोपेटेग्राफ यूजिंग डी एफ एस डेप्थ फर्स्ट सर्च फर्स्टली वेरी आई क्विकली गो ओवर ओके इन डायरेक्टली ब्रीफली वॉट इज द बायोपेटेट ग्राफ हाउ वी सॉल्व इट वॉट वी डू वॉट वी नॉट वेरी क्विकली फर्स्टली बिफोर दैट प्रॉब्लम यू कैन सॉल्व आफ्टर लर्निंग दिस कंसेप्ट एंड एक्चुअली वी विल सी द कोर लॉजिक ऑफ बायोपेटेट ग्राफ नाउ Firstly, bipartite graph. Bipartite graph. What is actually a bipartite graph? Bipartite graph is nothing but, as the word says, bi. You have to color the graph with two colors such that no adjacent node should have the same color. That is called a bipartite graph. If we just quickly look at the examples, if it is the one example, you have to color. Okay, blue adjacent nodes color with a different color. If it is blue, pink, pink. If it is pink, it's a blue, blue. If it's a pink, it's a blue blue. Cool. If it's a blue, it should be a pink pink. But it was already a blue. I'm trying to say, okay, it should be a pink. It doesn't follow that property that adjacent node should be of different color. And no way. I I started from a node. I tried to color the adjacent node as different colors, but I could not color it. Please, please, please return a false because it's not a bipartite graph. No. By another example, if it is a blue, it's a pink pink. It's a pink. It's a blue blue. It's a blue. It's a pink pink. It's a pink. It's a blue blue. It's a blue. It's a pink pink. Ha! Lovely. I colored the entire graph with different colors, which means with with two colors such that every this node have a different color, and that's a bipartite graph. And if I see look at this example, it's a blue. It's a pink. It's a pink. It's a blue blue. It's a blue. It's a pink pink. It's a pink. It's a blue, blue, and ultimately it's a blue. It's a pink. Oh, I can again color this entire graph with two colors such that two adjacent nodes have different colors. That's it's a bipartite graph. So by clearly looking at the example itself, I can see if the graph is linear, I can always color that graph. If the graph is having an even length cycle, I can color that graph and say it's a bipartite graph. If the graph is having an odd length cycle. I can never color this graph, and this graph is not a bipartite graph. So that's the interesting use case of R N. Why should I study this? Study this logic of bipartite graph. It is because if you have been asked, okay, just let me know if that graph is having an odd length cycle or not. You will try to color this graph. You will try to see if that graph is bipartite or not. If that graph is bipartite, for sure it is not having a odd length cycle. Because if it had an odd length cycle, it would have never been a bipartite graph. That's an interesting use case why you are studying the bipartite graph as a logic. Right? Cool. Now you know. Okay, what's a bipartite graph? You simply have to color it. You start from a node. You start coloring the adjacent node with a different color. Now different colors. You will try to color the entire graph. Ultimately, if it is, a, if you are able to color that graph, simply say, okay, it's a bipartite graph. If you are not at any point, you find some contradiction. It should be pink, but it is already colored as blue. So simply done. Okay, it's not a bipartite graph at all. Now simply, as I say, and the last video also, I told you that okay. It's simply starting with one node, coloring the adjacent nodes, then one node, then adjacent nodes, and simply keep on going. So if if you are able to color the graph entirely, good. If not, simply return. Okay, it's not a bipartite graph. When I say color the graph entirely, it means you are going on to every node. You are going on to every node, which means you are simply traversing the graph. Now, when the graph traverses the picture, BFS and DFS are the two main components or two main you know authorities for us we looked at the bfs in the last lecture which is lecture 19 and this we will see the dfs logic very 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 simple firstly i will start from a node try to color that node with any color try to color that just a node with a different color and keep on going keep on going until i am able to color the graph entirely if yes it's a bipartite graph if not then sorry it's not a bipartite graph cool Let's quickly, quickly, quickly color this. And also, if for if for coloring the graph, we need a graph itself. Now, if we have a graph to represent the graph, we represent in form of an adjacency list. Cool, no worries. As I said, I need to color with two colors. Here, I took my color as blue, which is zero. My color as pink, which is one. Now, you'll ask, Arun, why is zero and one only? 
बिकॉज इट्स इजी टू कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन एंड वन टू जीरो बाय सिंपली एंड नॉट ऑपरेशन नॉट ऑफ जीरो इज वन नॉट ऑफ वन इज जीरो सो आई कैन सिंपली स्विच टू कलर बाय सिंपली अ वन नॉट ऑपरेशन यू कैन चूज एनी कलर वॉट्स एवर यू वॉन्ट इट्स जस्ट इट शुड बी टू कलर नाउ कूल आई हैव दीज टू कलर वॉट एल्स आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट टू डू अ डी एफ एस ट्रावल सर I want to also color the nodes. So I want a visited array, and I also want the colors array. Now, visited array. Okay, you can have colors array. You should have. Now, can I merge these two one in one? Which means, let's say I use only the color array, and that color is initialized with minus one. Just saying that no node is visited. If I just put in any node as either a zero or a one, it will just say okay. Now that node is visited and also colored with a color. that is how i can simply use this one array as colors if that color array is minus 1 that is not visited if that is either a 0 or a 1 that is visited so with this color array itself i won't because for sure for a dfs traversal you need to know if that node is already visited or not so you should be having a visited array but 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 for sure i can simply use this color array itself and that will be more than sufficient for me to find if that node was already visited or not cool now as we as we do a simple bfs traversal simple bfs traversal that i start from a node okay i start from a node zero let me make it small now i color this node i will call i start from a node zero i color this node with a blue color i will call for another node now its neighbors are 1 and 2 so a dfs call for 2 is pending but meanwhile dfs call for 1 will start dfs call for 1 will start it will try to color that with a different color cool it's colored with a sorry it's colored with a different color now again dfs of 1 is called it's colored with a different color it will try to call for 0 and 3 0 and 3 it will try to go let's say for the dfs of 0 which is already visited and visited with a different color so please you are good return back cool return back now it will try to go for the dfs of 3 go and color with the different color okay dfs of 3 is also done when dfs of 3 is done it will try to go and color 1 and 4 1 and 4 one already colored okay cool no worries and also colored with a different color cool no worries return back try to go and color the four color four cool no worries color four with a different color cool dfs of four is done and colored with a pink color cool no worries four will go and try, try to do a dfs on two and three two and three three is already colored and colored with a different color cool i am good return back okay i'm good go and try to color two and that two with a different color cool that two is colored now with a different color dfs of two is done cool now this two will actually go and try okay do a 0 and 4 dfs 0 and 4 four visit all and visit with a different color cool no worries return a true two next neighbor is zero cool already visited yeah visited but visited with the same color same color should not have been there oh sorry 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 return a false your graph is not bipartite sorry you are done that is how you start from a node simply do a dfs traversal keep on going just check okay if visited and of different color no worries keep on going if visited and of same color as that of me please return a false because you are screwed up now that is how you will simply do it by a dfs traversal let's quickly look at the code it's very 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 easy if you have solved the last code of dfs it's exactly same how simply as that if you just go and look firstly i just made this color array just say okay color is initialized with minus 1 why minus 1 because for sure i want to see if it is minus 1 it is not visited at all now i will just go and as i showed you that i have to go and check the bfs the bipartiteness of every component so i will go on to every node and check okay if that node is already not visited which means the color is minus 1 please do a simple dfs traversal and find out if that graph is bipartite or not if not then please just return a false because if that graph is not bipartite 
if any component is not bipartite the graph is also not a bipartite graph and if all the components are bipartite oof, simply return a true because graph is made up of many components so if i am saying that graph is bipartite so every component should be a bipartite right cool no worries now what i will simply do is simply go and check with this dfs traversal if that component of the graph is bipartite or not now i will do a simple traversal of dfs firstly i visit that node with what color with a color as zero because i tried to start my dfs traversal from the node i and with the color as a zero with the color as zero now i colored that node with the color as zero initially now i will go on to every neighbor of that node every neighbor of that particular node and will try to see if that node if that neighbor is not colored which means the color is minus one of that neighbor please 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 simply go and color the neighbor with the opposite color as that of me as that of node node color was actually a call so opposite of no opposite of call is not of call so please color the neighbor with the opposite color of node okay that is colored and it will just keep on going keep on going and at any point if it returns a false which means that graph is not bipartite you also return a false that is simply condition that okay if that is node is not visited but 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 if that node is visited it will go into this else condition but i am only concerned about if that node is visited who no worries but if it is of same color that graph is not bipartite at all so if it is already visited it will come here but if it is already visited and of the same color as that of node simply return a false because that graph is not bipartite now cool and ultimately if we just go on to every neighbor do the entire dfs reversal and still it could not find any such pair or any such nodes which is of same color as that of me cool simply at last at last at last it is not true and that is how by the simple dfs reversal you can easily go and find if that graph component is bipartite or not and by this simply trading on the entire graph itself i can simply say that graph entirely is a bipartite graph or not complexity is still the same which means o of v plus e and o of v as base why because of simple dfs traversal a simple dfs traversal try to go on to every vertex and every edge and the space is nothing but my recursive stack space which i use while doing a dfs traversal cool and that is how you can simply solve this bipartite of a graph by simply using a dfs traversal also the code for c++ and java exactly same as, as what i showed you above exactly same is above is down below so yeah Thanks so much for watching. Bye.